Hi all, welcome to this Team of the Week 31 Tips. Team of the Week are now starting to be a little bit tricky in terms of getting kind of profits from, but there's still some smart investments to cover, mainly due to sniping aspects. So if you can smash the links below, some sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at Jeez Legend. All the links are down below for playlists on the channel and social media links, as always. Hopefully you've made some good profits, especially since some of these cards are going up quite nicely in value. So the first one I've kind of noticed that has gone up is Rufier. There was a couple I missed earlier on for just over 50k, it was about 51-52k. He has now gone back up to around that 60 odd k mark, but he's one of the cheapest 80 informs out there and it's kind of worth keeping in mind due to um, possible high rate SBCs. Um, Svensson's like a 14-15k card, but I've seen a few go on snipe at 10 and 11k, um, especially during, during the wars times. So be wary of that. Cards like Grimaldi, Anson and Peterson, the three of them collectively they're like 10, 10.5k cards. The lowest bin generally has been 10, 750 and 11k, but all three respectively, if you're very very patient and very wily, you can get them all for under 10k. Um, even the, like 9596, it's just a case of hoping that luck's on your side and you're just quick enough. But realistically, the three of them aren't the most appealing cards. Um, neither of them potentially really that useful. It's just more a case of sniping. Grisicki is 20k. He's one of the cheapest championship in forms. And I would say, if you're able to get one snipe, fair play. I haven't seen many. I missed one on Thursday night for 15k. That was my own fault. And I've missed a couple... Even less than that, it was one, it was twelve and a half. Lacelzo, he's been like fifteen to eighteen k, and he even dropped down at one point to thirteen, fourteen k. McCree, he dropped at seven, but he's now back up to twelve, which is kind of mental. Um, not many on the market, so be wary of him. Babel is eighteen to twenty k. The highest I've seen him go is twenty one, twenty two, but he is currently a lot cheaper than a number of the eighty threes. So if you're preparing for team the week, team of the season SPCs, then worth nabbing. Voland, 1920k, same rules kind of apply as I said with Babel, he is one of the cheapest 83 informs out there, but um, realistically if you were to prepare for Team of the Week, Team of the Season SBCs, I'd rather go the 84 route. Same applies with Castillo, he is the cheapest 84 inform currently, the rock bottom cheapest I have seen is 14,000 coins, I've seen people claim that they've seen ones at 11 and 12k, I haven't seen any realistically myself, they might be thinking of the first inform. But still, if you can nab either, regardless, can't complain. Carbon is 15k. He peaked at one point to around 20, 21k for what we saw with the SPCs. But um, he has he's crashed back down and settled back down to minimum price. But realistically, it might need to take him to be out of packs to see any impact on his price. And the last card of the week is this dude. I ain't going to try to pronounce his name. I've still not been able to pronounce it perfectly yet. But he is around 910k. And in my personal opinion, for a silver inform, you're going to have to open pre you get one snipe for 6 or 7k. In terms of like the man of the matches, all of them go for minimum price pretty much. Um, Hydrecki is another that I've seen a couple go for like 20 24k. But the informs, they're the ones you'd want to mostly focus on. But for me just now, the 84s of Castillo and Babel appeal to me the most. Well, hopefully you find this useful, let me know in the comments down below what you've been getting for profits and snipes. Take it easy all, smash likes as always, and I'll catch you all later.